All right, so here we are back at the house for day three, just in the master bedroom here. I've just stripped all the wall coverings off and taken off all the wall furniture, little catches and everything. Made a horrible mess of the paint. And I'm just going to get the axe. I forgot to bring the right tool and I'm just going to go and rip up that smooth edge. Now that smooth edge is tack nailed into the concrete. So just be gentle. You do chip the concrete when you pull it out. It's inevitable. So what I did is just filled it back later with a bit of grout. Now I've got my safety boots on. I've got my axe. And just be gentle. You don't want to put a big chunk out of the wall. But just going along like that gently. Bit of bash bash, twist twist. And she comes up. Just make sure you have the tacks facing up when you snap it over your knee. Alright, so by the time I went around the room I had this box just about completely full. And I found some other junk there, that Frio Dockers doorbell. That's all going to the tip. So this house came with a dishwasher. It was the cleanest thing on the whole property. It was sparkling clean. I don't think it had ever been used before. So I gave it a test run. It's this uh, chopping board with kimchi residue on it and a few plates. Gave them a wash and they came out perfectly. So the next order of business was deciding what to do with these floor tiles. Now most of them were okay, but when you got around this corner here, some of them were loose and crunchy underfoot. Now that heater I wanted to get rid of, right in the middle of the room, an eyesore, and you shouldn't be burning gas in Australia where it's not even cold. So that plinth had to come out. So while I was smashing tiles, I might as well smash all the tiles. Now I probably spent about 20 hours chipping the tile glue off the concrete and in hindsight I should have just got the machine. I was a bit worried the machine might be a bit harsh and damage the concrete which would leave a mess for me to get through with the concrete polisher. Now in this dining room lounge room we've got this uh, exposed roof timbers and they were painted with a hideous mission brown paint and my Initial thought was that I would paint around them, but too hard. So I ended up up on the scaffold and I sanded them for two days because they were very roughly sawn. And rough sawn timber is great for spider webs to get a good grip on. So after that, after those decisions were made, it got into the work and the work was scrubbing the walls. They were very dusty because the house had been unlived in for about a year. So a couple of hours per room I reckon it took. So I was very glad to have that finished. Okay, so these high ceiling rooms took me a time. I was on my little Aldi scaffold there. Washed up all around the beams. And heaps of water on the floor. So I skimmed that off and hopefully got a lot of the um, residue of the floor glue off when I did that. Then I did this hallway as well, that was time consuming, lots of surface area in there, but it was well worth doing. This door was filthy, that took a while to clean. So the reveal of how well this dishwasher works, opened it up, have a go at that chopping board, look at it, it's pristine. So that was a bonus, a near new dishwasher in the house. Tenant's going to enjoy that. I did have a problem though. When I moved it to get the tiles out from underneath it, I forgot to reconnect the water and I had some leakage in the cupboard, which meant I had to basically replace the cupboard. But there's the hallway all nice and clean. So I'm getting late starts on this job. It's very hard to get out of bed when you know you've got a hideous job like this to get to. But we eventually got it done.